So you've landed on Guns N' Roses how to play the epic outro section uh, where things get just really loud and quite complicated from a guitaring standpoint. Um, I've really tried my best here to transcribe what Slash is playing note for note. I think it's pretty accurate to be honest with you. Uh, but before all of that we've got the orchestral bit and then there's these huge power chords. <laughs> So that's just a one and four. And then you've got a single one. And then this is rhythmically uh, quite difficult because it's kind of triplets. And then we're going straight up to this very, very high section with the epic soloing. And this is kind of the hardest part of the song here. The final solo, so we're back on the uh, neck pick after having done those crunchy chords on the bridge. Bring it up there and then you're going to jump up to that 19th fret and bend it. There's a clever fingering trick that I'm going to show you in a second as well. So 19th fret with a bend, vibrato, and then bend. That's the one that really matters, putting the third finger down there. Because it just means you're in position for the next shape. You can do that all as a um, hammer-ons and pull-offs. You can play the last note if you want. So that's the kind of next pattern in it, a little bit slowed down. I mean, you don't have to be super accurate here because really this is just slash improvising over the notes. But because I'm a pedant and I wanted to get it exactly right, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So it starts like this, down, up, down, up. Pull-offs here. And it's another pull-off. Little bend on the second uh, finger here. And then you do it again with the vibrato. So a little scale. Pull-offs here and hammer-ons. Now you can slide down here, or you can do a 16th fret across. I get a feeling it's the 16th fret across, but there's two options for you there. Then we're back to this original shape here up to the top. So I made a mistake there, you want to put your third finger down. So that's the same. Now the next solo section is like this with some very, very unusual notes in. So it's a down with a hammer on, then up. So that's the weirdest note there, the 17th fret, uh, which sounds a bit out of place, but that is what's played. And actually when it's so fast, it actually sounds quite good. So back to this original shape. And then you're jumping down here with a quick bend on the 15th. This is an interesting bend, you really got to go for it. And then you're going to use this shape. You can also use the fourth finger. That might be easier for you if you like. And then you're going to go back to this first finger on the 15th. I prefer the third at the top, but anyway, you might prefer the fourth. So that's how that shape works. We're carrying on with the solo here. We're going into page four of our tab now and another shape that Slash has come up with. Back to this original formulation of this uh, section here. So 
you jump up to the 19th and then you do this little bend here. And then it goes to this nice shape here. And then you can jump down to this 11th here. And you can keep that second finger being used as well for that shape. Then we're up again with the repeat of this high section. This is probably the weirdest shape. So I'm gonna break it down for you super, super slowly on the 18th fret. And this is the only one that you really change shape from what you've been doing before. You can use the third finger across there as well. That's the weird one, isn't it? But anyway, that's what's played by Slash, and then you're back up here. Change to the second finger this time, because it's a bend. And then it's a slow release. So this is kind of where we're hitting it and quitting it here. So just one more time here. Up pick. Slide down to the 11th. And you can pick this again if you want here. You can use the first finger for that last one there. And you need to do a little bit of uh, feedback there, which means that you need to go and stand next to your amp. And then unbelievably, we've made our way through November Rain from Guns N' Roses. It's a kind of nine minute track here, which is why we did so many videos. I'll also do a, a mega video release, a compilation of everything, which will probably end up being about half an hour long or something like that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed just how accurate we're trying to be. Good luck with trying to nail down some of those solos at the end there, especially that particularly weird one right at the end. Uh, let me know how you get on. And if you want more Guns N' Roses, I mean, I don't really need any excuse. Um, but it was nice to be able to bring out the E-flat uh, tuned guitar as well today. I think this is the first video um, song that we've done with this one. So anyway, if you see the green one, you'll know it's in E-flat tuning. Uh, do subscribe after this mammoth effort and uh, we'll keep doing what we're doing.